Hi guys and welcome to March West Junction TMD. Today we're going to have a look at a few items that I've purchased, like this Class 20 from Backman, and uh, also this YCO wagon from uh, Oxford Rail, and uh, also there's a little red wagon here that's from Backman. And we'll also be looking at uh, some wagons that I've bought from FTG models in the past that I've got a small issue with that I just want to uh, share with you guys to see if uh, we've got the same issue with the new EFE range that's coming out. So uh, grab yourselves a drink and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, we're over at the workbench and I'll start off with these uh, SPA wagons that I got from FTG Models quite a few years ago and these have been re-released now by Kerno Model Centre and then they're now going to be released in the uh, EFE range from Backman. Now the reason I've got these out is I've never had them out of the box before and uh, I thought I'd run them on the layout with uh, the video today but unfortunately I've come across a small issue now the wagons themselves are great wagons the detail on them is really good you've got this little uh, cradle inside for your uh, steel there's a nice uh, metal deck crossover work to represent uh, some metal flooring and like I say they are very nice wagons I mean uh, the detail on them is really good. Ralph Raid's uh, Cardiff Rod Mill. You know, they are very nice wagons. Now, the issue I've got with them is down to the coupling. Now, when I've tried to couple them together on the uh, layout, you push them together, and if you look, they just come together, but the buffers are touching. So, if you try and go around a corner, that's the movement you've got. So uh, these will not run on uh, any radius curve because the buffers are actually touching and they're not sprung buffers. And it's just to do with the length of the actual coupling. Now I'm thinking of looking at different coupling bars, probably pinch the ones off the uh, DAPO ones that I had last video uh, that I replaced because they were too long. So maybe I might put that coupling bar inside the uh, two NEM pockets and keep them permanently joined together. But uh, unfortunately, as you can see, there's still a gap just there between the two couplings, but the buffers are touching, and it's just down to the actual length of the actual uh, coupling. So, something to be mindful of when the uh, Batman bring out theirs, whether they change that coupling to a longer one. I don't know if anyone's come across this issue before, but these were brand new from the, uh, the company off, uh, off the internet. So uh, these are the original couplings that are in are on them. But as you can see, the only way I can get them to pair up really close to be hooked together is offset them like that and then the buffers are behind each other. So there is an issue there. So like I say, that's the most movement you get to go around corners. Okay, the next wagon I'd like to show you is this ZEO, uh, I think it's an iron ore wagon. Uh, what's it say on the box? Yeah, 24 ton uh, iron ore hopper ZEO wagon in Gulf Red. As you can see there, Ian Allen Bookshop, so that shows how old this is, £7.60. And I paid £5 for this uh, from eBay. And uh, it's quite a nice little model. I didn't realise they did one of these until you look in the uh, catalogues, it's quite a few years old. But it just shows there's still some bargains to be had out there. And I'm into my engineering stock, so I thought it'd be quite a nice addition to the uh, engineering fleet, and unusual as well. 
so uh, it's worth looking out to see if there's still some of these uh, little gems out there. Okay, the next item uh, on the workbench is this lovely Class 20. It's uh, factory weathered and it's number 20141. And uh, I think the weathering is absolutely fantastic for factory weathering. Now this is obviously the older model. Uh, and I had one of these before and I sold it and I regret selling it. And this was another uh, bargain find on uh, eBay. I managed to pick this up for £60. So I was over the moon. And it's, it's brand new, it's never been run over and on my layout for testing. And uh, the detail on it, considering they've brought the new body version out, I think it's really, really good. I mean, the bogey detail looks good with the weathering. Uh, this was the one where it had the blue replacement door there, which they did this on a couple of locos of uh, when these come out. And you can see the uh, roof dirt on there from the exhaust. There's no fan in it. Now they, took, they went through a period of taking all the fans out because people were fitting speakers and then they started supplying them without the fans at all. Uh, so I'll be on the lookout just to put a fan in there. But I've got a few Class 20s that the fans have been removed uh, at the factory. But it is quite a nice model considering the new one that's come out is excellent as well. So, and it's a good runner as well. So it needs running in obviously, because it's uh, brand new, literally. But again, it just shows you still can pick up some of these uh, bargains out there if you uh, shop around. Okay, the final item on the workbench is this uh, Oxford Rail Pilchard Wagon. Now, this is a fantastic model. Uh, the price of them as well, as you can see what I've paid, the retail at uh, £18 and I paid £16.15 from my local model shop, Mike's Models. There's the uh, web address. Now, it's unusual. This is called the BR Black Livery, but it's grey. I don't understand why, but... That's what they uh, have called it. But you look at the detail, it's absolutely fantastic. It's really good. The bogies look good. There's these brackets here for when they drop down the sides, which are fixed, they don't drop down. You've got brake wheels on every corner. The wheels are really small, uh, which are prototypical. Inside, it's got a bit of cream there, and it's got a metal floor in black. But it is uh, a really nice model for the money. Now when you think bogey wagons now are well over 30 pounds for the old Backman ones, I think this is uh, an absolute steal. If it's uh, only coming out at 18 pound, I would have paid that as well. But it is a really nice model. The only thing I've got to moan about with it is the box. Because this is the actual box that it comes in. There's the uh, plastic clamshell that comes with it. When we go on about uh, container prices, well, as you can see with this, basically, they've sent a load of fresh air, basically, uh, which takes up room in the containers. And especially now these are owned by Hornby, you'd think they'd be, uh, be a bit more economical with the packaging. They'd probably save money by using a Mark III coach box by not having any more made. But surely the, they've got smaller boxes in the Oxford range that this, a smaller clamshell could fit into it. I mean, you compare it to the wagon that I showed you at the beginning and the box size, and it's literally the same length wagon. So it's just crazy how the, uh, they've sent this over from China in this sort of uh, extra large packaging. Plus it's frustrating for me because it means it takes up more room where I've got to store it. 
So uh, that's not the end of the world for me. But uh, it's just crazy in this day and age when the uh, companies are saying that containers are costing more money. And uh, then they go and fill it with uh, fresh air, basically. So, uh, never mind, that's only a little moan. But uh, the wagon is absolutely fantastic, and I really recommend you go out and purchase one. Okay, that brings me to the end of the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for stopping by. And uh, like I say, if anyone else has had any of these uh, wagons, then uh, please uh, drop a comment in the description below from FTG models, or even if the Kerno ones are the same with uh, coupling hook issues, uh, because they're definitely uh, an issue with them. As you can see on the track, I can't even get them to buffer up like clipped up. The buffers are touching but they're not even connected so uh, please drop me a comment if you uh, are having the same problem and if you've got a better solution than what i'm going to come up with so uh, like i say i hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you have then please give it a thumbs up if you uh, are not a subscriber then please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified by uh, YouTube when the next video is out and uh, also don't forget to share with your friends as well and uh, colleagues so uh, I'll leave it there then so thank you again stay safe and uh, I'll see you all again soon bye for now